like uh, about it, like Texas, like a sweet tea line, like like I like that, and and I think other people like that too because those are the ones they recite back to me, right? Um, the ones that are so authentic. So mm-hmm. I think don't second guess what you want to say. Okay. Um. Anyways, I called him and I asked him to take me to a studio, and he did, and he helped me make a couple of songs, and he eventually passed away. Um. And so R.I.P. But without him, I don't think that I will be sitting right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Mm-hmm. You, you know. But how did you get into the game? That's what I want to know. Um, who did you approach? Because there's a lot of young females out there trying to get into the games, trying to give their um, streams to somebody, try to try to talk to anybody they can to help them get that leg up. Who helped you? Um, there, there was this guy. He actually passed away, and his name was Spencer, and he went by Uncle Skit. Mm-hmm. And I knew that he was a songwriter. Um and I called him and I was like, hey, can you take me to a studio? Because I was like very shy. Like I would rap in my car like very good, like mm-hmm. very good. If I were to try to record it, even by myself, I, it just wasn't the same. Mm-hmm. Then I wouldn't do it in front of anybody else. But I called him and asked him to take me to the studio to help me write a song. Because I, I just felt like what I wanted to say was corny. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a lesson to tell these girls is like, don't think that what you have to say isn't cool enough. Like, you think rapper and you think boy and you think, and sometimes I find myself like, hey, I want to sound like a boy. But it's like, no, I just want to sound like me, mm-hmm, you know? Mm-hmm. I want to say what I want to say because that's what makes it cool. When I say, like, uh, about it, like, Texas, like a sweet tea line, like, like I like that. And and I think other people like that, too, because those are the ones they recite back to me. Right. Um, the ones that are so authentic. So mm-hmm. I think don't second guess what you want to say. Okay. Um. Anyways, I called him and I asked him to take me to a studio, and he did. And he helped me make a couple of songs, and he eventually passed away. Um. And so, R.I.P. But without him, I don't think that I would be sitting right here. Mm, that's awesome. Wow. So after that, wow. then how did you get signed, or how did you get um the next step up? So basically, what he was talking about earlier, he was like, when you walk in, it's unexpected. I know it's unexpected, and sometimes it's it's like not welcomed you know what I'm saying and so I was like I need them to see me and hear me so I was like I need a videographer and I was doing hair and I was doing the videographer's hair and he was trying to pay me and I said just shoot me a video he said a video for what I said I've been rapping and he's like what do you mean I posted two videos with him on my third video Atlantic Records reached out Mm. through a mutual friend and then I was like, what do you mean, Atlantic Records? I'm telling my mama. She's like, please don't quit your job. Please don't quit your job. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God, this could be a thing. And then that's really when she just like was like, this could be a thing. This is a thing. So like, they flew you up and you signed with them? No, um, they didn't. They kept in contact with me for a very long time. I just kept making music. I kept making music. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.